Boom. Hi guys, today I'm going to do a quick test of the Galaxy S10 Plus uh, in-display fingerprint sensor versus the OnePlus 6T to see which one is faster. Um, so ready? One, two, three. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Ready? One, two, three. All right. Let me go ahead and switch. Um, I've got both fingers registered here. One, two, three. Three. Ready? One, two, three. Now, as you can see, the S10 Plus is a little bit on the slow side. Now, for those of you who have arthritis, uh, maybe you're slightly older, maybe you have very bad hand-eye coordination, then you're gonna definitely need to like tap on it and then find the fingerprint sensor, all right? I know all of us tech YouTubers, we're gonna do this just fine because a lot of us play games, a lot of us grew up with technology, but for many normal people, you'll probably want to tap and go. You can see it didn't work there either. But let's go ahead and see how fast that is. Okay, ready? One, two, three. You see how long it takes for the S10 Plus to show up? Look at that. So in all total, if you had to tap it once and then go in, the 10 Plus is much, much slower. Look at how slow this is to show. And then I'm still missing it, yeah. However, if you do get good at muscle memory of knowing where the fingerprint sensor is, you don't have to wait and you can go straight into the system. Whereas the OnePlus 6T, it won't do anything. You actually have to tap and then go like that. But uh, with the OnePlus 6T, I think it's still faster, even if you tap it, because you can just tap and just go, double tap. But I think with software update, they should be able to fix it, definitely. But it's much, much slower as you can see. One thing I really love about the rear fingerprint sensor, it's right there. It's, it's so much faster. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, I guess it's about the same. But with the case, you're gonna be able to really just get that slot right and unlock it the first time. Whereas this is just playing with randomness, you know, I feel like Samsung should have kept the back and also add the front Another reason is, you know, with older phones that Samsung used to have such as the Note 5 I mean, at least it was a button, you know, you know, you can do this without looking at the screen This is something anybody can do including grandmas and grandpas, but with the newer S10 and S10 plus it's just a random guessing game. There's no slots for it. Maybe you had too many drinks you're not gonna be able to get that spot correctly. And I also feel like the fingerprint position is too low, all right? It's very uncomfortable versus the 6T is a little bit higher. And I feel like the higher you go, I, I feel like they should have put it like near the middle. That way your finger naturally can rest on it. But the more down we go, you can see how your thumb's gonna be at an angle, all right? Which is another problem, I think. You can also, of course, go like this, but that requires, depending on your hand size, you're gonna have to really use these muscles here, and it's just gonna be a pain to do that. So what I usually do is I just put half of my finger here. That's way easier for me like that. Anyway, I just wanna do this test for you guys. And you can see, even the Galaxy S10 has ultrasonic in-display fingerprint sensor, it doesn't mean it's faster. Oh, there, that one's, that was real fast. Anyway, I'm gonna keep testing it. They're supposed to have an update that should make it slightly faster. Yeah, have a great day. And as always, stay on fingerprint sensors. Boom. Just subscribe, just subscribe, just subscribe, just subscribe.